Okay, I, uh, I went to Newport Documentary Photography and graduated in 92. Um, I had a look around at the courses, I was doing general art and design, had a look around at the courses, came across Documentary Photography at Newport and thought that's the course I've got to do. Um, and went down to Newport, had a look around. Newport was quite interesting, I thought this isn't Manchester, but hey. Had a look at the course and said, right, this is the only course I can do. If I don't get onto this course, then I'm not going to do a course. So uh, I applied, got an interview, and uh, when I turned up, we met all the uh, students, the current students, and uh, showed them my portfolio before going in to see Daniel. And um, I'd done this little story about the Great Central Railway in Loughborough, which um, I'd sort of put together a little bit, and I put it in the back of my portfolio, and I didn't really think a lot of it. And of course, when I start, started talking to the uh, students, they said, oh, what's this doing in the back? You've got to put it at the front. This is the bit, this is the bit that's going to get you in. So I was like, oh, okay. So uh, I thought, well, maybe I've underestimated this. But um, anyway, put it in the front and uh, I, got, I got a place and uh, I was really chuffed. I think, I think anybody would say that their university years were their formative years. Um, but I think there was something about Newport that set it apart from from other courses, other uh, art colleges, whatever. We worked hard, we worked hard, we worked every day. Uh, certainly, you know, well, it's a two year course and we just worked every day. And it was such a good discipline. It was a really important way to learn to take photos, but it was more than that. It was, it was what it taught us, but it was who I was taught with. When I went along, I was, uh, 21, so probably one of the youngest people on the course, a lot of um, adult um, students there, and I was just with a bunch of people who were really enthusiastic about what they wanted to do, we we talked about what we were doing, it, was, it just really gave me, a, it was not a discipline, but um, really made me start thinking about the world I lived in. And it wasn't just what we were studying, but as I say, who I was studying it with. I made some really good friends. We, you know, we were a small bunch of people. I don't know how many people, I can't even remember how many, but the, you know, we were a small course, only two years, and we all got to know each other really well. Uh, and we worked hard and we also played hard. You know, we went out and we drank beer and talked even more. And it was, yeah, really formative. And that's what I've come away with. Um, I think for me, my self-belief was never <laughs> was never overflowing at the best of times, and I look back on it now. We had a, a lecture by David Hearn. Uh, I think it was in the first year. It was great, but I do something stuck with me. He said, you know, if you want to be the best photographer, like at the top of your game, you have kind of got to forget about having a normal life, and. That really struck a chord for me because I thought, I don't know, do I, you know, I'm quite a home bird. I, mm, do I really want to give up having a normal life? And I think for me that was a bit of a changing point. And it's a shame perhaps that it came so early because I think at that point I thought, I, I'm not going to be at the top of my game. I'm not going to do it. Um, when I left Newport, um, I ended up working in picture editing, worked at the Independent and the Time Out and uh, really enjoyed that because I think it just brought together my skills. Still working with photography, with photographers, design and layout, but you know, utilising all my organisational skills and stuff. So I think that was, uh, yeah, that, that was the best place for me and I really, really enjoyed it. So I did go back to Newport and um, it had relocated to Kerlian. Um, and I was brought, well, I applied for a job to set up a photo agency within the university. It was the beginning of the whole income generation for universities, which wasn't as successful as I'd hoped it would be. I was really thrilled to go back. The course had changed quite significantly. It was a bigger course. It was a BA by then. Uh, I felt, yeah, the students were quite a bit younger. Um, and it was really hard trying to set up a sort of a private sector business within the confines of a public sector establishment didn't work out quite so well, uh, and so I left, which was a shame. Um, I don't know what happened to the agency at Newport, but hey, I might find out this year. It was great to go to Newport. I think everybody on the films that I've seen so far, we all have a, a very similar sort of sentiment to the place. It was, yes, quite a sentimental place to be, actually. I think there's a lot of affection for the course. Uh, and I think that's reflected in the amount of time 
um, and that Paul has been putting into putting the um, the hundred years together. Um, yeah, it was a special place, and I'm really pleased that I was part of it. <laughs>